Aria, and over here is Mr. Scott Michaelson. Yay! And we're here to help you play along with your Fairfield Fiddle Book, Book One. And we're going to start with file them cabbage down. So make sure you march out your feet, get a stronger back foot, okay, lean back. You should have already done your thumb waves and your fair tree and your pinky taps and your swings and your circles and your silent string crossing and your normal warm up. So we're going to play almost everything in the key of A. All right, and we're going to silent string cross. And we're going to start with our introduction and you play your shuffle with me. Here we go. File them cabbage down.
I usually give you the choice between Cripple Creek and Skip to My Loop. But today, I'll let Mr. Scott choose. Would you like to do Cripple Creek first or Skip to My Loop first? Let's do Cripple Creek. Okay, now Cripple Creek is a little tricky because it has a different trouble than we're used to. And Miss Aria doesn't like the first section repeat and the second section repeat, so we normally put it all the way through and then repeat back to the beginning. Because for me, it makes more sense that way. <laughs> so apologies. But make sure we're playing it all the way through and it's a different shuffle. Okay? Here we go. The song goes. Then you've probably started the advanced version of this song. However, if you start 
the beginning version of it that's at the end of book one, when you are in, uh, starting book two. Or if you're playing the one with chords from book four, they go seamlessly together. So you might not be able to play your C section as fast as the book four students, but you'll know in your lesson that that's something that we really stress to try to get down faster than like, the chord section. So when I'm playing this, you're just going to play the book tours, put a one on your D string, and then tunnel it. Then you walk to two, and your one on your A, and two on A. And then you do it again, and it should sound the same as the people who are just adding the C sharp. And then they add the D. But you playing this, and me playing this, mine's a little fancier, but they still work together. So don't get confused. Or this one. And this just gets fast. But I'm going to play it again at the speed at which we're trying to get for concert tempo. So if you're just learning this piece, this is probably not the best speed for you, but it's a good thing to listen to and follow along with your music. And if you know this piece and you're reviewing it and, and you're tr having trouble with this tempo, then it's definitely something to add to your regular practice repertoire list. Okay? Orange Blossom Special. A, B, C, faster B, C, and then our ending with a big glist, which is our breaks. Okay? And we're not going to do the, this. We're going to let the pianist do that. So once you do your breaks, you're done. Okay? All right. Let me tell our, my birthday girl here, which is Mika, to go downstairs. All right, and then we're gonna start wearing glasses special. Come here.